Welcome to Arequipa, where we're starting the next leg of our Peru journey. We'll be here for one full day and we're just gonna walk around and explore the city. We are Jordan and Soph. After living in Alaska for three years, we decided to quit our jobs to travel internationally for a full year, which has brought us here to Peru. From the coastal deserts to the Andes Mountains, this country is filled with diverse landscapes and rich history that we are excited to explore. We're starting our time here in the Santa Cat Catalina Monastery. It was founded in 1579 and it was really a city within a city with five acres of buildings, roads, streets, monasteries, and over 80 houses where the nuns lived. We're currently walking through exploring the gorgeous architecture that's here. Lots of white buildings, white stone from volcanic rocks that are in the surrounding area. And it's really a city that's been built in the middle of a desert and it's absolutely beautiful. So let's go check it out. So in this red courtyard here, there's murals around the perimeter that depict the story of Jesus's crucifixion and of course his resurrection. This place is beautiful. I highly recommend grabbing a coffee and coming here for an afternoon stroll. We couldn't come to Peru and not check out an alpaca museum. Ninety five percent of the alpaca population actually lives here in Peru with four million alpacas. Once the fibers are collected, they're bringing to sorting sheds like this one, where they sort through the fibers based on length, color, and it's a process that cannot be mechanized. So it's really cool to see how it's done. Now do you want some? So of course here at the museum, there's a little exhibit with both llamas and alpacas. The llamas have the longer necks and are a little bit bigger and the alpacas are a little bit shorter. I personally think the alpacas look a little bit cuter than the llamas, but be warned, they still smell like llamas and alpacas. We also got to see some women do some traditional weaving, which up until recently was a dying art, but they've committed to keeping this art alive. So that was really special to get to see that demonstration. This stop is in the center of town and it's also free, which I'm blown away by. So definitely make sure to put it on your itinerary to make a stop to check out the llamas and see some traditional weaving. Now we're heading away from all the tourist hustle and bustle, walking down some more local quiet streets to get a great view of the city down below. We're not sure, but that might be a volcano over there. Our waitress told us that there is a few volcanoes in the area, one that's not active, and then another that is active. <laughs> The architecture of this city is truly just incredible. Right now we're standing in front of the Basilica Cathedral of Arequipa and it is just absolutely stunning. I'm just imagining all the time, money, design, and thought that I had to go into building this and it is truly incredible how they did it. Good old YMCA song right now. Gotta love it. 
Is this too aggressive? It's only a dollar. I feel like this would be plenty of water for while we're in Cusco, or at least for the next day. So we're ending our time here in Arequipa at the Plaza de Armas, which surrounds the Basilica. It's absolutely beautiful with a garden and fountain in the middle, shops all around, beautiful architecture, and the perfect place to end your day here. We hope you enjoyed this video of our one day here in Arequipa. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you can follow the rest of our adventures here in Peru, as tomorrow we head to Cusco.